So many cities face the same challenge of aging infrastructure, and rooftop farming is a terrific way of making use of these industrial buildings. And then, of course, they really have such a tremendous environmental benefit to the ecosystem. At the small scale at which it's practiced, in cities around the world, you know, it's a drop in the bucket, but if we can gain some momentum, we can really create a tidal shift. This is a slight beautification project. <laughs> I grew up in Wisconsin, but I didn't realize my passion until I was out in New York City. And then looking around the city and seeing thousands of open, flat roofs with full sun on them, with absolutely no utilization. It was a, a great opportunity to just dive into it and to pioneer a, a movement. There's lunch or breakfast. We have two and a half acres of rooftop farm space in Brooklyn and Queens. Our core business is vegetables, but we've also started New York City's first urban apiary. We also have 22 chickens. Hey girls. Hello, mama. They're not a considerable revenue stream for us, but they are very valuable in terms of completing the circle of life up on the farm. We have well over a million pounds of soil on the roof. This roof took several weeks of pumping up the soil with a blower truck, essentially a, a hopper with a pressurized tube that pushes the soil up. It's a, a compost from a mushroom production in Pennsylvania, blended with a mixture of several different types of stones that are very porous. So they weigh less than a typical rock and then they can allow water to fill into the pores. They can also harbor uh, microbial activity and they also allow for proper drainage and aeration of the soil, meaning that we don't end up with one big swimming pool up on the roof if we get a lot of rain. Ready? Our rooftop farms each manage about a million gallons of storm water per year. We also reduce urban heat island effect. We clean the air around us and decrease the amount of HVAC of the upper floors of the buildings beneath us. But probably the most unique benefit of our farm is to the community around us. So we have the opportunity to link New Yorkers back into their food production system. It's something from which we've become so alienated. Utilizing even all of our total roofs would not even produce a, a significant fraction of the amount of food that New York City needs to eat. However, that definitely does not mean that something like this shouldn't be happening. I was born and raised here in New York City. I want to live in a healthier city, in a more beautiful city, and a more delicious city.